to my channel. I just got into Atlanta last night and I thought that I would bring you guys with me and share how I train, how I eat, and how I stay consistent with achieving my goals while I'm gone and you know, just like random vlogging. Maybe I'll have some good thoughts that I could share with you on this little trip. I am staying in an Airbnb. There were a couple of issues this morning. When I got in last night, I like was so happy because this Airbnb is so cute. Um, but then when I woke up this morning, the car was off because last night apparently there was like this big storm and all these like trees had fallen down and it was just a little bit chaotic. And then I, I wanted, I did my morning routine as usual and I wanted to go on a run and I was like, I couldn't get my coffee because the power was off. So I was thinking, hey, I'll just find like Starbucks. The, the nearest Starbucks was far. So I ran pretty far. I got to the Starbucks, the Starbucks was closed. Then I tried like a grocery store, the grocery store was closed and like all these gas stations it were all closed. Their power is closed too, so I really want some coffee and now I don't know where to get it. McDonald's right here, maybe that's the, the option I gotta go with. And then when I got home, uh, everything was back up again and that was great. <laughs> if you're wondering why I'm in a forest in a sports bra and leggings, it's because I just made a TikTok. As if that isn't even more weird. <laughs> In case you don't know, I'm like such a snacker. So I eat maybe like six times a day, maybe seven times a day, but like smaller meals. But right now I just made a salad with some sunny side eggs up. Is that what it's called? I think so. I love that because then the yolk like goes into the rest of the salad and that's just delicious. And um, there's some cauliflower, bell pepper, lettuce, onions, cucumbers, different good stuff with some vinaigrette as sauce that's like my favorite sauce at the moment I think so I'm gonna eat this and then I'll see you a little later I thought I'd show you around in my little Airbnb that I got here so there's a living room and then like a dining table situation and look at this outside <gasps> and then I got kitchen and they left or gave me some snacks here which is very nice of them and here I can make some coffee and then I brought my one up nutrition protein powder and a little bit of BCAAs in case I want that I just bought some oatmeal baking powder some stevia and some turmeric and some other goodies in the fridge and then we got a washer ooh so exciting <laughs> and then I got a little bathroom and I'm absolutely definitely gonna use the bathtub. I haven't had a bathtub for like, I don't even know, for a very long time, but I'm very excited to do a little relaxation time. I hear a lot of people say that that's like one of their things, like to really relax and I'm excited. I used to do it at my grandparents' place, so I'm definitely gonna use it here. And then I got a little bedroom very cozy and I actually unpacked and I'm very proud of myself for doing that because old Pernilla would not have done that but since I moved in with Brock I was like I wanted to get become like a super clean person for a long time I just hadn't done it and I think that's like something you just have to like force yourself to do and so I feel like I've become that and so I'm just happy that I I managed to unpacked so i'm gonna stay here for two weeks and i'm only working like one to two hours a day ish so i'm gonna be really good about keeping my daily routines which is like um journaling and meditating and doing my exercise in the morning and i want to dance in the afternoon and um, and i feel like last time i was here i was also here for two weeks and i wasn't consistent with my morning routine at that time that hadn't been a thing that I'd done consistently before I went to Atlanta so when I got here I just wasn't consistent with it and that really affected my mood because when you're by yourself for that long time like I have no friends here and Brock is not here with me obviously so I think when you're by yourself it's even more important that you are staying consistent with those things that make you really really happy long term and that's probably the time you 
least want to do it, but that's the time you absolutely should do it. And I'm very excited for that. And I'm actually very excited for my time here. I have um, some things I want to work on while I'm here. I've written some goals down. I think that's very important too, that every time you're starting like a new chapter or you're just starting a new project or something new, that you have an intention with what you want the outcome to be. They drive a small Fiat and I am terrified of driving like big cars because I got my driver's license maybe like a year ago and so I'm still not very experienced and my I came with this car which is massive and I have to drive that every day and turn it around and drive it down here and I already did my first uh, like little drive in it so after being on the phone with Brock for 30 minutes I managed to turn on the car and turn it around and get driving so I'm in it now but also look storm was absolutely no jokes there's so many trees just laying down everywhere and i was like talking on the phone with brock for 30 minutes because i didn't know how to take off like the brakes thing and the gear is so different i was just so confused but it worked out and we have the most like best insurance for you so if anything happens you're good so i feel like we'll be fine we will be fine the most cool thing because i didn't know what i was gonna do with my workout when i was in atlanta and right so this is where i am staying and then right in here there's a gym and i feel like it has everything i need i'm gonna be having some really good workouts in here and i am excited for that i found these like low carb whole wheat tortillas they've just got some incredible macros no artificial anything and a really good amount of protein and dietary fiber so they don't taste like much but when you make these little wraps with chicken and some veggies they're super delicious this is probably the fourth one of these wraps I've made today and then I also have made these like more dessert situation which I'll show you a little later a bath is in the making I'm really debating on if I should show you this or not because it's so weird. It's like a little sweet mini pizza, I guess. So I put that on the pan and then I put Greek yogurt with um, sugar-free, fat-free jello in the yogurt and stevia and then some banana on top. And you may think it's weird, but it is good. <laughs> I thought I would show you what I'm doing. I had promised myself to take like online dance classes while I'm here, so I'm literally just like in the gym learning some steps by Kenny Wormold um, from Playground. Today is leg day and I am going to go outside for a little uh, run to warm up and then I am going to do a leg workout in here in the gym and I've been following a pretty good uh, progressive overload uh, workout program for my legs lately for actually many months now where I've uh, progressively um, increased the weight and I do very heavy and then with a little bit of a long a little bit of a long break in between each exercise so that my muscles have time to recover. But today, because this gym has a little bit different equipment than what I'm used to, I think I'm gonna do like low rest periods in between. And then of course I won't be able to go as heavy, but just like push through it, sweat, and just like, yeah, just maybe get a little bit more of a burn. For anyone who's trying to build muscle, I highly recommend going for like the hypertrophy with a little bit longer of a break, a rest period in between each set. But today, I just kind of want to go for it. I want to sweat and I want to uh, do something different that my muscles aren't used to so that um, I change up my workout routine, which I do think is, is good to do every now and then. Um, and since I'm here, then why not? And I will bring you guys with me. Let's do this.
half a bagel with some eggs and some oatmeal, but I'm starving. I'm still starving. So I'm gonna go to the store, eat some more food, then I have work, and yeah. What's wrong with the world? I just finished working for today and I'm I have absolutely no clue on why I decided to shoot this shot in slow motion, but I'm just telling you about my snacks. I got some baby carrots and some chicken. Yum. Sitting out here on a rocking chair and editing this workout video that you can find if you go to my Instagram. And I just wanted to show this because like so much of my time I spend editing because I want to reach as many people as possible so that I can spread more positivity and more awareness and just more like of my struggles and what I'm going through and growth because I feel like the people that have inspired me the most are people that share their stories has really helped me and and completely actually completely changed my life and knowing that you can actually change your reality if you change your thoughts and if you change and if you take more action and get out of your comfort zone more so that's what I try to do which I think is so much fun but it takes a lot of time it's like lately it's been a part-time or full-time kind of job so I'm enjoying it and especially right now because this is the view and then this is my rocking chair and then just editing away and once I'm done with this I actually have to start editing this video in which YouTube videos usually is what takes the longest to edit yeah I just wanted to share that and show you Hi. Number one was not enough. The number one tasted of more. We say that in Denmark. Like, the cookie tasted of more. And that's like, as in like, once you ate one, you wanted a second one, you know? Good, good chat. At night, I really like drinking a cup of tea. For a long time, it helped me like, stop snacking when I was kind of like, done snacking. And now I just kind of enjoy it. If you're someone who really likes sweets at night, drinking a cup of tea can really, really help. And it's also just delicious. What does it say in my tea? It says, love yourself so that you may know how to live with self-respect. I don't know if it's focused, but that's what it says. Also, if you are someone who tends to binge eat at night, then of course something like this can help, but what really helps and what really will help you overcome it for good is that the reason people binge eat is because we have some sort of feeling emotion inside that we don't know how to deal with we don't know how to handle and so grabbing something sweet or or sour or whatever you're into it kind of like makes you feel good for just a moment but once you're done eating you'll feel bad again so the way to really overcome binge eating and what has helped for me and what the psychology behind it is, is that when you have the urge to do so and um, catch yourself Realize that you're about to do it and then take a couple of deep breaths and feel what you're feeling inside and that could be that you're feeling frustrated or overwhelmed or you're feeling sad or lonely and then dig in even deeper into that emotion and solve it. You may need a, a guide, a friend, a psychologist to help you with this but deal with the real issue and not uh, trying to go on all these diets unless you deal with what actually is the true cause of your binge eating or overeating it'll be really really hard to fully overcome it you can go on thousands of diets but if you don't dig deep and really get into those true emotions of what is 
making you do these things, what is making you have these emotions that make you binge eat, I think it'll be super hard to overcome. So that would be my biggest advice and that's what really has helped me uh, through my like binge eating in, in the past. I hope that could help someone. You should never feel bad about eating. There's no such thing as good and bad food. It's just about finding a good balance for you and figuring out how you can feel good within yourself. That's really all that matters. It's not about you getting that perfect body that you want or uh, looking a certain way. It's really truly all about how you feel within yourself, about yourself. And um, it's a process, right? Life is a journey and we learn as we go and we grow. Oh my god, this thing. I don't know what it's doing. I just wanted to show you what I'm doing for my night routine. I'm reading right now this book called Ask and it is given Learning to Manifest Your Desires by Esther and Jerry Hicks. I decided to go for a little walk in the nature. I am really enjoying myself. I'm taking a little bit more a step back. So when I'm back home, I go, 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 because I have so many dreams and so many things that I want to accomplish and they excite me so much. But I'm um, on this trip feeling like I'm more just, I mean, I know it's just still like the first couple of days, but on this trip, I feel like I'm like more taking a step back and evaluating and just like listening to some creative thoughts that pop up because I'm not like so focused on specific things. And I think that that's what happens when we take a step back. We just like these creative thoughts pop up or the universe talks to us or whatever God, whatever you believe in, natural intelligence, and start speaking to us when we don't have all this like loudness going on around us, when we just like take a break and we kind of just listen, we walk in nature and just like take a bath or, um, you know, just doing relaxing things. And I think that's important for all of us sometimes to just take a step back. And I'm trying to really do that on this trip. And that makes me feel really good. I think I'm gonna end this video here. Thank you guys so much for watching and coming with me on this trip. I don't think this will be the last video I post while I'm here because I'll be here for a little bit. And this is just the first couple of days. Oh my God, I just thought I heard a, an animal, but it was like me stepping on this wood. Oh well. Um, I just wanted to bring you with me and show you a little bit of what my life was like here. I hope it wasn't too boring of a vlog and I'm really grateful that you were here. I hope that you want to stick around if you're new and hit that subscribe button and give me a like if you like this video and I will see you again very soon. Have a beautiful day. Bye.